So this is the last section of Yenish Gambit, and we analyze the variation E5, E4, E5, Knight F3, Knight C6, Bishop B5, F5, D3, Black takes on E4, D takes E4, Knight F6, and now short castle. This is uh, obviously the most dangerous continuation. So it is clear that taking on e4 is very, very dangerous. Black has two possibilities, he can play bishop c5 or he can play d6. Both of them are playable. Uh, I will show you how to play d6 uh, because I think this is uh, some, somehow easier. d6. Now white has four moves. Let's see first what happens after rook e1. This move doesn't uh, look so good because uh, it has no threat, it's just protecting the pawn e4. So black can develop himself without any problems. Bishop g4, h3, bishop h5, queen d3. So now somehow white wants to play against the knight c6. Now when the bishop is on h5, so black plays queen d7, knight c3. Often the idea of white is to put the knight on d5. So here black plays a6. Bishop takes c6, b takes c6. Knight e2. And now the easiest, in my opinion, for black is simply to play bishop e7. And after knight g3, black can simply take on f3. Queen takes f3. Short castle. So if the, the point here, if, if the pawn would be on f7 instead of e5, for example, then obviously uh, the position of white would be better. But because of the open f file, black has uh, always uh, his uh, counter chances on the king side. Knight f5, for example, is not dangerous at all because black can simply play g6. Knight takes e7, queen takes e7 is not, uh, not a problem because after bishop g5, queen e6, there is no threat. The knight can go to d7 in the next move, or to h5, and then to f4. So, this shows that rook e1 is just loss of time. And time is very important in this position, because if white wants to get uh, some, uh, at least to exercise some pressure, then he should play quickly. So, another interesting uh, move is c4. Uh, the idea of this move is later to play c5 and to create black a weakness on d6, if possible. So here black plays bishop e7, knight c3, a6. This is a good move because after a short castle, uh, white might already play c5. Now uh, bishop will go back to c4. Bishop g4, c takes d6, and after c takes d6, of course, uh, white is slightly better. After bishop takes d6, white takes on c6, b takes c6, h3, bishop h5, and queen d3. And because of the pawn structure, I think, again, the position of white is slightly better. So, here you should be careful and play a6 first, instead of short castle. Bishop a4. Short castle. c5. King h8. Prophylactical move. h3. Bishop d7. Rook e1, the bishop goes to e8. So the bishop always finds his way to become active. C takes d5, uh, d6, bishop takes d6, bishop g5, h6. And after all, I think that uh, black is fine. So bishop takes f6, queen takes f6. If bishop h4, then black might even play g5. 
bishop g3 and bishop h5 because now the position of the piece, of the white pieces on the king side is not so good so this is fine too now let's see more red, uh, dangerous move from the side of white so instead of c4 queen d3 this move has always two ideas. First of all, uh, pawn e4 is protected, and uh, secondly, the queen can go to c4 and attack the knight c6. In particular, this becomes uh, dangerous uh, when black castles short and uh, white can play queen c4 with check. So it's a good practice for black to force the game a little bit, a6. White has to take on c6. If he goes back to a4, then black can get this bishop, the white squared bishop anyway, the same after bishop c4, so at least oh, white creates black double pawns, b takes c6, knight c3, so now the square d5 is under control, h6, so that white cannot play uh, bishop g5, rook d1, the idea is knight takes e5, but black simply plays bishop d7. Knight d2, and uh, after the move knight uh, d2, uh, in the, a game between two grandmasters, black decided to play g5, play very actively knight c4, bishop g7, and then uh, he created a dangerous, uh, a dangerous attack on the king side. So against queen d3, remember to play a6 immediately, forcing white to take on c6. And then black should have no, uh, no troubles. Okay, now finally, knight c3. This is of course the main move. Bishop e7. And white has three possibilities. The first one is to play a3. The idea of this move is uh, that white wants to keep the bishop. He doesn't want to give it, uh, to take on c6 if black plays a6, and uh, doesn't want black to give black the opportunity to take the bishop with knight a5 at some point, as we have seen in the previous variation. But uh, the price of this move is the time. The cost of this move is the time. Short castle. This is one possibility. Certainly, black can also play bishop e6. And after knight g5, the bishop can go back to g8. But short castle is also playable. Bishop c4, king h8, knight g5. This is the only way white can play for an advantage. Queen e8. But now it turns out that knight e6 doesn't bring anything because of bishop takes e6, bishop takes e6, and knight d4. And after all, the queen will go to g6, and uh, or knight h5, and black will have enough counterplay on the king side. Another possible move instead of a3 is queen d3. But here, bishop e6, this is to prevent queen c4. Typical error is a short castle, take on c6, take on c6, queen c4, check, king has to go, and queen takes c6, and white wins. So bishop e6, knight g5, bishop g8, and white has nothing better than to play a3. h6, knight f3. And bishop e6 back. Bishop c4, queen d7, knight d5, knight d8. The idea is to take on d5 with a knight and uh, to exchange bishops or to play a bishop f5 if white takes on d5 as a pawn. After knight takes e7, queen takes e7, the position is equal. So finally, instead of 
23, the last possible move is bishop c4. So here, white prevents black from short castle, and he wants to play knight g5. But the problem of this move is that black can play knight a5 immediately. Going uh, with the bishop back to e2 doesn't make sense because of knight c6 at least. And the bishop stays on e2 worse than it was on b5. So the only move that makes sense is queen d3. So the idea of white here is to prevent black from short castle. Knight takes c4, queen takes c4. And now there is an important move you need to know, and uh, if you know this move, then uh, you will have no problems in the entire relation. And this move is queen d7. It's not so obvious, but it's very strong. So the queen goes to e6 or to c6. So on e6, uh, for the moment, it cannot go to e6 because pawn c7 hangs, but after queen c6, the position of black will be good. So, knight g5 doesn't work because of several uh, moves. Uh, rook f8 is one of them, just protecting the square f7 and uh, playing h6 in the next move. Another possibility after knight g5 is uh, bishop d8. Again, the, all the squares are controlled, and in the next move, black will play h6. And uh, what else white can do? There's actually not much knight bishop g5 does not make much sense because of queen c6 as i said so let's pay closer attention to knight g5 so the better option here is uh, rook f8 because the bishop on eight seems strange now uh, white can play knight d5 if white plays f4 then the easiest for black is probably to play queen c6 queen takes c6 b takes c6, f takes e5, d takes e5. And now because of the weakness of the pawn e4, black has equal chances. So knight, bishop b4 is a, a threat. And in addition, the, the white squared bishop of black uh, looks pretty strong. Also taking on f4 is, an, is a possibility. But here bishop takes f4, here it's not so obvious. h6, knight f Three now e5 is a is a threat. Queen c6, queen probably goes to b3. Now black can play bishop g4, e5, knight h5, and this position is complicated. But I think black is also uh, fine also here. Okay, so final line, after rook f8, knight d5, but again, they can simply simplify this position by playing c6. Now knight takes f6, doesn't bring anything because of g takes f6, knight takes h7 and rook h8. And I think that white is lost. And if the knight goes back, of course, then simply queen a6 and f5. So here is everything clear. So knight takes e7 is possible, but then queen takes e7, bishop e3, h6, knight f3, bishop e6, queen d3. And now, uh, be careful, you cannot castle long because of bishop takes a7. So, you need to castle short, but it is impossible to do immediately, so you play king f7. Nice move, with the idea king g8. Rook a d1, rook f goes to d8. So you protect your only weakness. And then you put your king on g8, play knight g4, or you can even try to play with d5. And, uh, all in all, your position is good. 